So you've identified some errors on some transactions that have been entered into QuickBooks. So I'm going to show you quickly in this demonstration how in batch you can update all those transactions using Z axis. Here's an example of the problem that we've got. So on these invoices, the user hasn't entered any information about the rep that made those sales. So we have to go back through, we're going to have to modify all these transactions to firstly update the rep, but also we want to print them on a different template. We want to print them on the rep invoice template. Now, if you had to do that by hand, it would take you a long time. And the client review copy in QuickBooks isn't going to help you either because that only allows you to update the customer and the account or the class. So with Z axis, we've got a lot more flexibility. Now in Z axis, what I need to do is I need to get those transactions firstly out of QuickBooks and into Excel. So I select the transaction type that I want to export. I'm now going to filter. My choice is I'm going to filter by reference number. So I'm going to go. I'll click get and it retrieves those transactions from QuickBooks. So I save them out to Excel spreadsheet. Now going into Excel, we can see here, here's all the raw data for those invoices being exported to an Excel spreadsheet. So I can use all the powerful features in Excel to update this data. So I need to find the sales rep field. I'm now gonna add in the sales rep who should have those sales. Copy down. I'm also going to change the template. I want it all to appear on what we call the rep invoice template. So again, using copy and paste, can update all the information within that field. Now I can do that to almost any type of data within an invoice. Save that information. Now returning to Access, I'm going to go into the import module. I'm going to select the file that I want to import. Now it will show you what's within that file in this preview panel down the bottom select a, temp, a mapping that I've already set up, which is called invoice with rep. And I'll show you what that contains. So I've said we're going to map the invoice reference number and the customer ref. I'm going to actually update the field for template ref full name, which is the template. I'm going to update the field for sales rep. And I'm going to set the value for whether it's going to be printed or not. I'm going to set that to true. So that means it will be ticked or checked within the invoice. Now you can see in this preview panel down the bottom, the invoices that will be updated, the sales rep that's going to be added, the new template reference and the value of it, that it should be printed. Final step is that I'm going to select the ability to modify the transactions because they already exist within QuickBooks. And click Import. So now Access goes through and it's going to find those invoices and update it with this new information. We'll just jump back into QuickBooks and let's have a look at these updated invoices. First, you'll notice it's applied the new template. So it's the rep invoice. Um, the rep has been added in and we've also checked the option for it to be printed. So it's done this in batch and you can see it's applied this to all the invoices that we exported, updated, and then modified back in again. So this is just a very simple and quick way of updating batches of transactions in QuickBooks.